Hey everybody, it's me, Namaisa, and today I'm coming to you with another video. So Bloggers and Brands sent me these two palettes right here. So they sent me the Mehron Echo Pressed Glitter Palette and their Highlight Pro Palette in Warm. They have another highlighting palette, uh, the Cool Tone version. I did not receive that one in the mail, so I'm going to review these two today. Now with the Highlight Pro palette, you get three highlighter shades, and the names of the shades are HPWL, HPWM, and HPWD. Now, like I said before, I have not tried any Mayron products, but just looking at the palette, it looks sleek, simple, straight to the point, you know. So uh, it's also very sturdy, so I like that. And you know, the highlighter shades, they don't look like anything new just right off the bat like this, but they do look very pretty. Very pretty shades for maybe my skin tone or a little bit darker. So I'm gonna try and use all three shades on my skin so you can see what it looks like. And I'm also gonna include some swatches so you can see the colors and whatnot and yeah. So yeah, <laughs> let's continue. So what I like to do when I apply my highlighter is spritz my face with setting spray. This is the NYX Cosmetics Matte Finish Setting Spray. So I'm gonna spray that. And right before it completely settles into my skin, I'm gonna apply the highlighter. So now I'm gonna take this shade right here, and I have no idea what it's gonna look like, so bear with me. Oh. Okay, that's way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> hmm, well that way you can definitely see what I have on my skin. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is definitely a true gold shade, but like, damn. Look at this. Let me try and dim that down a little bit with a sponge, because... So now I'm taking the lightest one right here. Let me apply that over here. <laughs> well, it's good. It's definitely good. And I didn't even use that much. Like on my skin tone, it looks very silvery. But I'm guessing it's more of a champagne-y color, if you know what I mean. Like, it has some gold in there, but on my skin tone, it definitely looks more silver. And now I'm going to take the darker shade right here. And oh, it may be too dark for me, but we'll see. Oh, that's actually really nice. I used less than on this side. So let me just use a lot more so you can see. This one looks very, very nice on my skin tone. And you may think it looks less pigmented or is less pigmented than this side, but that's just because this shade works really, really well on my skin. Um, because it's definitely blinding, I can tell you that. This one is my favorite. This shade is definitely beautiful. I mean, this is nice too if you want to go for like this real intense gold, <laughs> gold beam on your face. But this is really nice to just give yourself a, a bronzy glow because that is definitely what this color is. It's more bronze. Let me also put a little bit above over here. Oh yeah. This is pigmented as hell. Like you need to use a very light hand if you want a subtle glow. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of it on the tip of my nose. So obviously I'm not done yet. We still have the Echo palette right here. And in the Echo palette you get the shades Reflect, Wave and Sound. So this is supposed to be a pressed glitter palette.
Honestly, whenever I see palettes like this, pressed glitter palettes, I always think of kids makeup. Um, you get this little bit of, you know, glitter on the top and then the rest is some type of jelly substance that doesn't really stick to your eyes. Uh, but I could definitely be wrong, so let's go and try it out. Now, I have no idea how to apply this onto my eyes. I'm just going to use a brush and I'm also going to try and apply it with my finger just to see, you know, what works better. So this is the first one I'm going to try and I'm putting my brush in there. I think you really got to press in this one. So I'm going to apply that over here. See what it does. Looks very chunky. I'm not really a fan of how to apply this, but it seems to be sticking to the makeup. So that's a good thing. Oh, now that I feel the consistency, it definitely doesn't feel like one of those jellies, if that makes sense. And with my finger, it does come off easier. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. And very easy to apply with the finger. Do you see that? Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna try this one right here and I'm just gonna use my finger because it worked really well with the other eye. You see, it's coming off on my finger so much easier than with a brush. Just pressing that on there, not swiping it on. Oh wow. That is beautiful. Way less chunkier than with a brush for sure. Do y'all see it? Oh, that's nice. It's a very interesting consistency, the product. I've not tried something like this before. Okay, so as you can see, I quickly applied a eyeshadow and here is the glitter. Let's see. I haven't done anything besides just applying the eyeshadow and I think you can see that, but the glitter stuck to it. So I guess it needs an eyeshadow or a primer, like a base for it to adhere to it. So there you go. That was my little test and swatches and demo and whatever, whatever you want to call it. So in the end, what do I think of these products? The highlighters were definitely a hit for me. Very pigmented, creamy, buttery, easy to blend, uh, and also easy to subdue. <laughs> because you know well you've seen what happened so yeah for me this highlighter palette is good to go like i love it it's beautiful so the echo palette by mayron um definitely is a yes for me as well it was a little bit of a struggle in the beginning simply because i've never tried pressed glitters before so i was a little bit iffy about it like i mentioned uh, with a brush, it was not a success for me. The product became really clumpy and very, you know, like it wouldn't blend nicely. And then I just used my finger and lightly tapped it in the product, applied it, went on beautifully. The shades that I have on my eyes are stunning. Love them. It doesn't feel scratchy. It feels soft. Actually, it feels like I just have eyeshadow and lashes on. I don't feel the glitter. It doesn't feel scrunchy and I noticed that when I wiped off um, the swatches that I created that again it felt really soft not scratchy uh, and it came off easily now the center shade was a little bit difficult for me to work with I don't know why um, maybe because I didn't apply it onto my eye but onto my hand uh, even though I had an eyeshadow underneath the center one was a little bit more difficult to kind of blend and work with but these two shades, they're stunning. They're definitely stunning. So overall, do I give this palette a go? Yes. Now let's talk a little bit about the pricing. So each palette is 32 euros and 50 cents. For me personally, it's a little bit pricey. Uh, for the highlighter palette, I don't have that much of a problem with it simply because the formula is beautiful, super duper pigmented. It does have sturdy packaging and you get three shades. But then again, 
three shades, 3250. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I'm not mad. Like, I'm not mad about it. For the glitter, on the other hand, I think it's a little bit too pricey. Uh, you get three glitters, pressed glitters. Uh, again, same packaging, very sturdy. But it's, it's a little pricey to me. But then again, that's just me. And if you're okay with it, perfect. If you're not, that's fine too. So that was it for my review for these palettes. Uh, in the end, like I said, I do like them very much. And I'll definitely give them another go. And I'm glad this review worked out. I'm glad I like these products because here's the thing. So I'm gonna do a giveaway in collaboration with bloggers and brands and, you know, Mayron Europe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll be able to pick one of these palettes, including the cool tone one for my fair skin toned people out there on my Instagram channel, so check that out. It's Makeup by Namisa. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would help a lot. Also, click on the notification bell so you know whenever I'm uploading a new video. And if you want to follow me or find me on social media, all you have to do is type in Makeup by Namisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. That was it, thank you all so, so much. And until the next video, bye.